Hey everyone, are you ready for some more Bible events and putting them in the right Bible period? Let's give it a shot today. I've got some new ones for you, okay? How about our first one is Nehemiah rebuilds the wall in Jerusalem. Old or New Testament? Old Testament. What's our Bible period? Return from captivity. Return and rebuilding, right? Very good. They'd been gone 70 years in captivity. And everything in Jerusalem was a mess. They had a lot of work to do. Okay, our next one is the apostles going out teaching and preaching to the world. Old or New Testament? That's a New Testament. What Bible period does that fit in? The early church. Very good. They went out teaching and preaching the gospel of Jesus because Jesus commanded them to do so. Our next one is about a boy named Jacob who tricks his father for a blessing. Is that an Old Testament or a New Testament story? Old Testament. So what is our Bible period? The patriarchs. Remember when we do our symbol for patriarchs? We have four standing up here. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. All right, now our next one is about a man named Balaam who's riding a donkey. Now that sounds normal, doesn't it? But this donkey talked to him. Is that an Old or a New Testament story? Old Testament. What's our Bible period? This one might be our hardest question today. This one fits in the wandering in the wilderness period. Balaam was asked to ride up and look out over the Israelites as they were camping in the wilderness and curse them. He wasn't allowed to do so. Would any of you be surprised if a donkey talked to you? I know I would be. All right, our next one is King Solomon dies and the kingdom divides. Is that Old or New Testament? Old Testament. And which Bible period is this? And this one might be our easiest one today. The divided kingdom. When he dies, that kingdom splits. And we have Israel in the north and Judah in the south. Okay, our next event is a church in a town of Corinth. And they were having some problems. Is that in the Old Testament or the New Testament? That's a New Testament story. And which time period does that fit in? The letters to the Christians. Remember 1st and 2nd Corinthians? That was, those were written to the church in Corinth. All right, how about this one? A group of people got together and decided that they could build their way up to God. Old or New Testament? Old Testament. What time period is that one? Yes, scattering of the people. Did they get that Tower of Babel built up to God? No, they didn't. What did God do? He confused their language and they all moved apart. They didn't continue working together. All right, another one. 
King Hezekiah finds out he's very sick and going to die, and he prays and prays to live. Is that in the Old Testament or the New Testament? The Old Testament. And which time period? King Hezekiah was a king in Judah. So that one fits in Judah alone. Israel had already been taken into captivity at this point. Our next one, our next event is about a man who is asked to build a boat when it has never even rained before. Old or New Testament? Old Testament, of course. And which Bible period does that fit in? Well, that's Noah, and it's during the flood Bible period, isn't it? Okay, let's see. Moses dies. But before he dies, he gets to climb up on Mount Nebo and overlook the Promised Land. Is that in the Old Testament or the New Testament? The Old Testament. Very good. And what Bible period is that lesson in? Invasion and conquest of Canaan. They are at the edge of the Promised Land getting ready to go in. They've got to cross the Jordan River and fight the Battle of Jericho. But Moses doesn't get to go in with them. Okay, our next one is, where are the parables found? Old or New Testament? New Testament. Who taught those parables? Jesus taught many parables. What time period would this be? the life of Christ. Now there are other parables in the Bible, but the majority of them are taught by Jesus so we can understand his kingdom better and they're in the New Testament. Okay, how about when David hides from King Saul? Is that Old or New Testament? Old Testament. Very good. And what time period would that be? That's during the United Kingdom. David is young in the Old Testament during this time, and he is hiding from Saul, who is getting a little crazy about David. He can't keep from hating David. That is during the United Kingdom. Remember our three kings of the United Kingdom? Saul, David, Solomon. Okay. How about when Gideon asks for a sign from God before he goes on a task God has sent him on? Is that Old or New Testament? Old Testament. And what is our time period? Gideon was a judge. Period of the judges. Do you remember the sign where he asked that the fleece be dry but the ground wet? And it was. And then he reversed it and said, how about if the fleece is wet and the ground is dry? And God did that too. Okay, how about when Cain grew vegetables and tended his farm and Abel tended sheep? They each had a very important job to do. Is that Old or New Testament? Old Testament. What's our Bible period? Before the flood. We know what they did because the Bible tells us that those were their jobs. Our last one today is about Daniel, 
who finds himself in a lion's den. Is that in the Old or the New Testament? The Old Testament. And what is our time period? Captivity. Remember, Daniel is taken away into captivity. And he finds himself in that lion's den. Question, did the lions eat him up? No, they did not. God protected Daniel, just as God protects us. God always keeps his promises, and he always loves us. I hope you enjoyed these Bible events today, and I'll be thinking real hard and coming up with some more, see if I can stump you, okay? And I'll come back and we'll practice some more. Have a great day. Love you. Bye-bye.